Hey everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And um, I did a thing today and I'm excited so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I ended up with this lady's um, big box of craft supplies. It's um, She had a, one of the large boxes from Lowe's, like the moving boxes, and it wouldn't even close. Full of craft supplies she doesn't want anymore. And I've got out on my desk just a a couple of little things. I haven't even looked at it yet. And I thought we'd look at it together and then maybe on the fly I'll make something. So let's see, see what she had. It looks like she was in the process of covering some composition notebooks, maybe for gifts or um, they're a little sticky, just from like tape. She used like two-sided tape. But those are pretty with pretty papers. Let's see. Um, I guess she just didn't finish, decided she had had enough of the crafting. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can tell there's some green glitter on there. So some composition notebooks. One's already covered with some pretty paper. So I'll have fun with that. I don't know when, but I will definitely make something with those or use them myself. And then let's see, looks like just a little canvas. A six by six, so that's always good. Um, I think, again, a wood that you can, you know, I could collage on here, you can make art with. So there's that. And another canvas, 11 by 14. And it's so funny, y'all, look at this. I was in Hobby Lobby just yesterday and almost bought one of these. <laughs> it's just a little piece of um, wood shaped like a circle. I don't know how, what the diameter of this one is. Let's look real quick. Yeah, it's 12 inches or 11 and three quarters. I wanted one that was like a little, 12 inches or less. Um, I have some really pretty Christmas um, scrap of paper that I want to apply and then do a collage on for a Christmas decoration. So there you go. I didn't buy it and now it came into my life. So yay. All right, let's see what's in this basket. This is so fun. Glitter, fun, I like glitter, it sparkles. Ooh, yeah, these are cool. These are like, you know, sometimes I even make them and put these kind of closures, but pre-made ones are nice because we could just cover these with some paper and add them to journals. So those are a good score. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to look at everything in one video. So what I was thinking is we'd look at a few things today. And I'm hoping something jumps out at me and inspires me. Oh, my goodness. And we can make a quick craft together with something out of this new stash I have. Oh, gosh. I wonder if she knows she left pictures of a child. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to reach out to her. <laughs> Some, some people don't like their children um, on YouTube videos. So I'm going to put those down, but the, a very precious little girl. Whoops, there she is again. Um, and I'll see if she wants her pictures back. Okay, adhesive label holder. Hmm. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at what this is. So it's actually, like, you know how you have a notebook, like, for school or work, and there's that little label, and you can slide a piece of paper in there. I never thought, wouldn't this be fun on the spine of a journal? And then we could put something down in it. That is something I'll have to definitely figure out. What is this? Do more. I hope these aren't more pictures of her family. Ah, they are. Okay. I hope I can find the lady I got this stuff from and give her pictures back. Okay. The dangers of doing this on camera, right? Oh, look. Little tags. These are the Paper Studio, so it looks like Hobby Lobby, and little tags. So even if I don't like them, I can use them as a base for tags, and if I do like them, I can add to them. That's fun. Little mini cards and envelopes. This stuff is just right up my alley. Oh, and I have some projects I wanted to do. Um, look at these with, with cards. She obviously made these. Look at that. They're beautiful, and she colored in, um, looks like with a marker, the stamped images. That's a pretty one. Um, 
And here she's, this is, I think, some that she had prepped and then didn't end up cutting out and using in her card. Um, very sweet. So a bunch of cards so that you can make crafts, you know, with cards. It looks like she was big into stamping at one point. Look, <laughs> I was too back in the day. So these are kind of fun. All right. And all of these are her personal cards. Goodness. But I will repurpose them into some beautiful pieces of artwork. So there we are. We have some cards. And this looks like, um, oh gosh, something for somebody's grandma. Ah, more, more family pictures. Y'all, this is making me a little sad. I probably, should, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be so fun to look at this. Um, for the first time on camera, yikes. And then here's like all these family photos. Oh goodness. Envelopes, cards and envelopes, love that. Ooh, I like paints, let's see. Looks like Art Philosophy, it's a Prima brand and they're metallic accents. Metallic semi watercolors. Hmm. I may have to watch a video to see how we're supposed to use these. Look, and it has its own little brush. It looks like they've barely been used. Ooh, this is going to be fun. The brush looks brand new. That is a lot of fun. I don't have any water right now in my craft room, so we won't we won't play with that today. But we will play with it. All right. What is this? Drawing tools. Suitable for tablets and smartphones. Hmm. No idea. Maybe you lay it over? I don't know, I'll have to do some research on this. Not something I really know what that is. Okay, so let's put this lady's lovely cards and her family pictures back in this basket. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Um, and we will deal with that later. <laughs> okay. Aww. All right. It looks like her kids are probably about the age mine are now. So they're young adults at this point. Let's see. Woo! Sparkly things. So looks like sequins. Hey, you know, I need to come up with some projects for some sequins. There's some um, multicolored googly eyes. Look at all these sequins. It looks like, hmm, was she trying to do, yeah, it looks like maybe, um, now I'm losing my words, but that stuff um, that you have to have the light to harden. You guys know what I'm talking about. Somebody tell me in the comment what I'm trying to say. Um, lots of sequins. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but I like sequins, right? I like the idea of sequins. Um, maybe there's a fun video that'll show me what to do with sequins, and then we can do it together. Baker's twine in all different colors. Cute little baskets. I love some Baker's twine. There you go. Um, that will get used. Creative exchange oil and cotton. All right, I think this is just the basket. Let's see what ended up in the basket. Oh, a little hoop like for knitting. Oh my goodness, guys, look how sweet. I, my mom had a pair of these and they're great for snipping um, String, ribbon, floss, right? All of that. And it looks like this was just a little kit, maybe. Um, it was a spring landscape embroidery workshop she went to. And then I guess these were the leftover supplies. These little baby scissors, we are gonna keep those out and I'm gonna use them. That is gonna be so fun. I'm probably gonna have to put a piece of ribbon around it though, because I imagine they will get lost here on my desk. I could see that happening in a flash. All right, another little pink container. Looks like some inks. Transparent alcohol dye. So we've got a few colors. And then it looks like maybe some stencils or some card making supplies. Yeah. Some yeah, and it's that really glossy paper that you can use the um alcohol 
inks with. So again, I'm gonna have to remind myself how to do that because I, I've done that at one point in my life, but it's been a long time. My friend Sue in Tallahassee, if you're watching or listening, you taught me how to make some really cool things with alcohol inks back in the day. So I'm gonna have to dig deep and try to remember. So this looks like some of her adhesive. So she must have been a scrapbooker too. A large eyelet kit. Some fun stretchy cord. Hair braiding strings that are stretchy. All right, and a cute little pink container. We always like things that are pink. What a treasure, you guys. I'm having so much fun. All right, I'm gonna grab one more pile of something and then we're gonna, we're gonna make something, which is probably why you guys are here. Oh my goodness, wait. I don't know what all I'm gonna find, but look, giant punches. All right, and there's a circle. This is a one and a quarter. I've never had any like this. They're very, very heavy. I wonder if that means they're heavy duty. Here's another circle, a two and one eighths. That looks like, oops, a good size. Oop, don't know if it works though. It might just need to be oiled. We'll have to see, but there's that. Hmm. Oh, I see, we'll save it for next time. I see more sequins. And oh, something else I'm gonna have to remind myself how to do. Okay, so I have one of these. This is the envelope board punch. I wonder what the difference is. This is to definitely make something specific. I will have to do a search and then maybe we'll make something with this one. But I have one of these, I'm pretty sure, in this you're able to make envelopes of all different sizes. I'm gonna make sure it works and then maybe um, that can be something I give away. Give away, give away, okay. So, and we'll find out if anybody knows what this one is or if you have this one, leave me a comment and tell me. Um, I'll do some research and see if I can figure it out. But here's the cool thing. <laughs> I like the um, scoring tools that come with the We Are Memory Keeper brand. And both of these still have the score tool that looks brand new. I always end up using mine for other things and then they're not with my scoreboards when I'm ready to score something. That always happens. I keep saying, that's all I'm gonna look at and then we're gonna stop. Um, I'm gonna pull one more little pile out though because I think I might be able to use it for my promise of we're gonna make a craft. Okay. Some fun embellishments, little tiny bags, some tags, um, something from Tuesday morning, K and Company Smash. Hmm. I don't know what it does, but we'll find out later. Ooh, look, all kinds of fun, cute little things. She definitely liked some of the same things I did. Ooh, this is my style too, the vintage ephemera pieces. Set those there. That's probably what we're gonna make something with, I have a feeling. Um, or should I, these are just some cards. But again, if I don't like the patterns, these are always good bases. You know, you can never have too much paper, right? Um, and I do think there are some paper pads in there. Just haven't gotten to them yet. Doily. Ooh, fabric remnant. It's a pretty piece of lace. Hallmark cards. Looks like, again, blank cards and envelopes. Those are cute little folders. And this looks like some, like really thick kind of handmade paper in purple. All right. So now I've got to decide, should I make a little project with you guys staying in my comfort zone, going to kind of my vintagey brown vibe, or should we do something completely different and funky? I think we're going to go out of the comfort zone because that was the whole point of this, um, going through somebody else's supplies <laughs> and, um, and stretching, stretching a little bit, right? So I'm clearing off the space here that is in camera so that we can hopefully make something. And I'm thinking, um, 
I don't know, this little mouse and the parrot were speaking to me, but then these little birds too are very sweet, which isn't really out of my comfort zone to craft with a bird. Um, but the little mouse and the cupcake is, so we'll go with him. We'll make something with the little mouse and the little cake, and then I'll have this parrot to do something else with later. I think these are birthday cards. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll do something. I want to make um, like my own tag using this, and then we'll find some other little bits and pieces. So I'm going to take my scissors and just cut out. I'm not sure yet if I want to fussy cut. I guess I'm going to at least fussy cut this one side. And I think I'm going to cut off that little matchstick there. Okay, and I want this to be nice and straight. So I am going to lay it on my trimmer and we'll see how we do. All right, trimmer. Um, what are we gonna make, what are we gonna make? This is um, always, ooh, this is so cute. Now it looks like, I don't know if the adhesive just failed or they come like this to make it easier to decorate. Not sure, something to find out. Here, maybe we will make a little envelope that can be glued into a journal or given as a gift. All right, don't do a lot with mice. Being being real, real here, I don't know how cute my project's going to end up being. I thought this was a good idea. Now I'm feeling all the pressure, all the pressure, right? Um, I think he's going to do better if I do a little more fussy cutting. So here we go, giving him a little bit of a haircut on his back there. So um, have you guys, I, I always thought it would be fun. There was a group many years ago and they talked about how, um, you know, how messy your craft desk can get, whatever, that it would be fun. And I think they did this, is you would swap with somebody for the afternoon and you would go and work in their craft room and only use what was like out, at arm's reach at their desk. Like, you know, not to like dig through all of their stuff, but just, you know, from the bits and pieces that they've left out. Um, and I was like, gosh, that would be so fun to see what somebody came up with, like the things I've left out on my desk, um, or to get to do that um, with someone else's supplies. <laughs> and this is sort of like that. Um, you know, like having no idea what I'm going to find in the box. And then there you go. Maybe make it into a little card. Or if I use the envelope, the envelope's a little bit larger. So I think we're going to use the envelope. And then I'm going to attach it in a journal with the flap. And then we'll have a little pocket here. Love using envelopes for ideas. Okay. Let's see what else we can do to him. Because right now, all I have done is cut a mouse out and planned to put it on an envelope. And that's not like much of a technique, is it? Let's add, let's add some ink. Now, this is one thing, and they there are all of those like old cards in there. Um, I do like saving greeting cards because they can be super fun to Cut, cut the images out to collage with. Um, I saw this one tutorial and I was thinking about, um, I'm gonna just do some paper tear. Um, I was thinking about, I have a bunch in my stash and there's some videos out there that show you how to make all these um, handmade ornaments with um, you know, last year's Christmas card, so to speak, right? And I thought, well, that would be super fun because, you know, I always, hit, they're so beautiful and I hate getting rid of them. And I have some vintage ones. I have some of my own from, from different years. And I will admit some years I didn't even keep mine because I just, you know, there's just so only so much stuff, you know, that you can keep. But um, it, 
it's so nice to be able to upcycle and recycle the things that we have, right? Especially um, if you're a, a paper crafter, there's always something you can make. All right, so I just took one of the tags out of that little tag book and we are going to put Mr. Mouse on here. I'm gonna let him hang off a little of that one edge because I don't need this to stay just, a, you know, it doesn't have to be this rectangle because of the way I'm gonna attach it. This edge could be larger, it's okay. And then what else are we gonna do? He needs some more, some more special stuff. Let's see what's in this little bag. Um, remember when the, like the bump dots or the, um, these are like on sponge and they're they're velcro, velcro y. Um, I don't know why the word is backwards. You would think it would go this way. Nope, that's backwards too. Well, that is gonna just like make my mind explode trying to figure that out. I sort of like the sundial, but I think it's a little bit big. There's some little wood pieces. What does this one say? Whoa, journey. Mm -hmm. he, he definitely is lighting a candle. And I guess a birthday could be the beginning of a journey, right? Or a celebration. Here's one that says, good luck, and it's a horseshoe. That's a kind of cute sticker. Oh, it's so old, it's not even coming up off of the paper. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I can, hmm, that's it. Well, I don't know how to fix this. Let's think about it for a second. I'm gonna glue it back down because it's, it's just coming apart and it's not coming off of this plastic. I'm wondering if I cut it around the plastic, if I my two-sided tape would probably stick it down. What do you guys think? I think we can do that, because now I'm on a mission. So all this white glue did was I just, um, was the sticker was coming up in layers and tearing the image. So I'm just gonna cut around the plastic and we'll see. You know, back in the day when I was scrapbooking, everything was so rigid. And one of the things that we always talked about is you could only use things you know, that were acid-free, linen-free, and all this stuff. Because, you, you know, we're, it was all about preservation, which is important. But just there's sometimes like you couldn't use something maybe that, that you thought would be sweet or fun because... Um, it was, it might destroy your pictures, you know? But I was watching somebody and she likes to craft with vintage items. And one of the things that she said is, you know, if you have something that's lasted really well, <laughs> it's probably gonna continue to last well. So I know some things that I use really brittle paper and stuff like that and I mount it on other paper and just kind of take my chances. But um, I, I really liked that concept that idea that go ahead and use it it'll be fine now I forgot that my hinge was here when I glued that down and see that will matter it won't open right where it's okay if we hang off on this side so I'm just gonna cut it and it'll just be like that okay I'm all right with that he's looking cute let's see if I can find anything else I want to do to him before we stop um, this is Pam's stream of consciousness, has no idea what she's crafting or crafting with, and I'm having fun. I hope that you will give my video a thumbs up, and you will subscribe if you haven't already to my channel, and join me on this crazy fun ride of junk journaling. I am gonna, I hope these are still sticky. This color seems to work well with the flame. So I am going to, I don't know where I want it, but I'm gonna put it right here, I think. Maybe down a little bit. I may not like it once I stick it down, but we'll see. All right. Yeah, and it's definitely still sticky. Cuteness and maybe a bow of some kind. So the only thread stuff really that I recall finding was in this little bin 
not the right color. I think the green or one of the yellows. Let's go with this green. It's, it was already started. All right, I'm gonna, because this is real thin and I like it, but I am going to, whoa, double it like this. So we're gonna have to call this something like um, surprise craft haul, or craft haul and surprise project. And maybe I'll make a few video, a few of these if you guys like them. You'll have to let me know if you want me to continue because I have not finished unpacking that box. And there's still more to look at. Like I said, I do believe there are down in there some of the big 12 by 12 paper packs, which is exciting because we can do more one page wonders, right? Um, not that I was hurting for 12 by 12 paper prior to this acquisition of mine. But, all right, all I did was put a, a little dot, a, a generous dot of the Line Co. PVA glue, and then I stuck my little bow on there, and it will dry and hold it. It will be just fine. Um, these little cards were two and a half by three and a half inches, um, the little envelope. So that is what I made. It's very simple. Used an old birthday card. And I don't know why I'm trying to pack that up on camera. I did a little bit of inking. And there we have it. So I guess here's here's the question answered. You want me to do some more of these unpacking videos with a surprise project? Or you're like, no, Pam, get back to regular, regular paper crafting. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great day till next time.